Welcome to Aldai TTI. My name is Lukuyu Mosopsali, Principal Aldai TTI. So my name is Karen Kogo Sang, Deputy Principal in charge of administration here in Aldai Technical Training Institute. Uh, Aldai TTI is where the future begins. That is our slogan. Uh, in Aldai, we train our young Kenyans to serve our community. This is where their future begins. As you know, technical institutions, technical training is the way to go in Kenya today. I'm Titus Kibetro Tich. Uh, I'm currently serving as the Deputy Principal in charge of academic affairs and student affairs. Being a Deputy Principal in charge of academics, we have had students who have been able to graduate in our institution. Currently, we have been able to release 850 students into the job market. We have had students who have been able to secure employment, both in the informal sector and the formal sector. We have had youth who have also been able to be employed outside the country. And these youth have been able to establish their careers through our institution. I want to welcome all the youth from different parts of the country to enroll into our various programs that are specifically industry and skill related programs. And I wish to also welcome our community to come into our institution and see the available programs that are able to give an opportunity to the young people in the community to start their career through hands-on training. Michael Muganda, uh, the registrar for this institute. Uh, I'd like to take this chance to welcome all trainees to Alai TTI. Alai TTI has a serene environment. And the serene environment offers conducive learning environment. Alai Technical Training Institute is a center of excellence where the future of our trainees start. Well, uh, my name is Yego Abraham, the Dean of Students, Aldai Technical Training Institute. Uh, at the office of the Dean of Students, we uh, handle student welfare, uh, handle their uh, body, uh, we handle their sports, activities, recreations, uh, generally, it's about their welfare. We uh, give them the facilities that uh, will keep them uh, comfortable within the institutes. This is also the office that uh, it links the student body with the administration and it creates a, a harmonious relationship between the two uh, levels. So we welcome everyone to this institution. Welcome uh, those students who wish to join us. This is uh, Anti-Technical Training Institute where their future begins. I'm Oski Betkey, the Registry Officer at the Technical Training Institute. Uh, as as a uh, department registry office, we do admission of trainees. Uh, we, we also do processing of uh, student admissions. We also do rec recruitment of trainees in Aldai TTI. We are grateful as, as a department for having uh, served what's decided from us. This is the uh, starting point for, for the institution and we decide to offer the best in terms of service and delivery. This is where the future of trainees begins. My name is Oweru Steven. I'm the performance contracting coordinator at Aldai. Technical Training Institute. 
uh, the purpose of uh, performance contracting in college is to ensure proper utilization of re uh, the resources by basically monitoring programs and project implementation throughout a financial year. I'm Samsung Kipserem, competency-based education and training coordinator uh, CPET Champion. Welcome to Aldai Technical Training Institute where the future begins. I'm Betuel Kukorir Keme, uh, in charge of examination office, Aldai Technical Training Institute. Uh, in this office we handle both internal and external examinations. For our trainees, this is where their future begins so that they can serve the community. My name is uh, Yego Elkana, the head of marketing department, Aldai Technical Training Institute. The role of the marketing department is to ensure increase in enrollment of trainees at Aldai TTI. I want to take this opportunity to say welcome to Aldai Technical Training Institute where the future begins. CPA Peter Sagas, uh, Head of Finance Department. I'm welcoming everyone to RLI Technical Training Institute. Duncan Kibler at Coach, Procurement Officer RLI TTI. Feel welcome at RLI TTI. I'm Ken Melly, College Librarian. Philip Barmasai, Internal Auditor, RLI Technical Training Institute. I say welcome to RLI technical where future begins in our institute because this is where destiny is defined and I TTI was uh, an institution that was started by the community the land was donated by the community and it is seated on a 50 acre piece of land together with the commu the community leaders the former MP of the area, that is Dr. Sally Kosge, came up with the idea and she was the brainchild behind this institution being placed where it is. Once she, well, when she mentioned it to the community, the community leaders took it up and uh, they were able to come up with the donations from the community land and were able to get 50 acres because that is what was needed for a technical institution to begin in this area. We also want to thank Dr. Sally Kosge because it is through her efforts that we were able to be put in the African Development Bank program. So as we talk, Aldai Technical Training Institute has been put under five phases of the African Development Bank project. We are now in phase three. There are two other phases, that is phase four and phase five, that are still to be done. But as we talk, we have phase one, phase two, and phase three. Aldai TTI is an institution that is registered. It is registered under the TVET Act 2013. At Aldai TTI, we started our first uh, cohort, which was 15 students in 2015. We have grown to a population of 1487 currently, distributed in five, seven departments. The seven departments are Agriculture and Environmental Studies, Building and Civil Engineering, Business Studies and Entrepreneurship, Electrical and Electronics, Computing and Informatics, Hospitality and Institutional Management, Liberal Studies. We are in the process of starting two other departments, that is mechanical and automotive engineering and applied sciences. Those are our future plans. In the year 2024, we intend to start the other two departments. In our institution, we offer diploma, artisan and craft courses. And these courses are uh, courses that are marketable, skill-based, so that we give our youths the right skills for employability. In our institution, we have highly qualified staff. 
Among the highly qualified staff, we have uh, trainers, we have non-teaching staff, totaling to 111. The non-teaching staff are 42, and the trainers, we have two different trainers, the PSC employed, PSC employed are 25, and the BOG employed are 44. We are committed to nurturing uh, our youths, and as we nurture our youths in Aldai TTI, we give them the relevant skills for self-reliance. We believe that the skills will position our trainees to be entrepreneurs, innovators, and not job seekers. As our strengths and achievements, in Aldai TTI, we are blessed to have the Government of Kenya African Development Bank projects. We have been given phase one, which was the construction and equipping of building and civil engineering. Phase two, construction and equipping of the electrical and ICT workshop. I'm Deborah Cherop Cheruyat, uh, head of department ICT. ICT comprises of two sections, information science and ICT. Uh, we have uh, various levels. We have certificate and we also have a diploma. Uh, we have a certificate uh, text one year in ICT and also information science and uh, the modular program for ICT that takes uh, three years. Uh, I'm Desmond Kigen Kibet, a trainer in the department of ICT in Aldai Technical Training Institute. I'm Ezekiel, a student of Aldai Technical Training. Now I'm in Diploma Module 2. I came into this institution in the year 2015 and throughout the years I've seen a lot of progress. The number of students have increased. We used to have one computer, the computers have increased, the numbers. We are doing my certificate for two years. Now I've joined uh, the uh, Diploma. Uh, currently it can accommodate as much as 50 students. The computers have a lot of features. The, the, the softwares that has been installed can be able to help the students acquire extra skills like the Archicad, AutoCAD, QuickBooks, among others. Apart from the softwares, uh, the students are also to do their daily maintenance, troubleshooting. And uh, our school produces a conducive environment. Since I joined the school, I have not seen any disadvantage, but many advantages. Using our available computers, it has helped me. I can do computer maintenance. Anything concerning IT, I can do it. They're able to repair uh, computers, among others. With this institution, again, um, the, the department has some extra, uh, extra activities, like the Ajira training that we have been having. They have managed to teach us everything about computer. Uh, about uh, computer applications, there we have knowledge from our teachers. And it is assisting a lot of youths through the Wi-Fi that we have within the institutions. This, within the institution, Allied Technical, the students are able to do freelancing and acquire some, some money through the online services. We also have uh, the free Wi-Fi that uh, has helped a lot of offices in terms of sharing the resources, communication, and even uh, doing research. Uh, when it comes to research, ICT was among the top in the innovation that was uh, done recently. And uh, they came up with a program through, uh, and actually what helped them is the internet that we have around. We have uh, uh, servers, we have the routers, we have, the, uh, we have a lot of uh, internet materials that are helping our students. So in module three, they cannot go far away because they are able to learn internet-based programming they are also able to learn data communication on how these uh, network routes, their packets and data from one place to another. Uh, it has really helped. We also have the MIS office in place. And uh, through this, our students are being exposed and they are learning a lot of things. We also have computer packages. Currently, we have a good number of students, uh, 15 of them in session. Uh, they have uh, their experience in Alda is good. 
and that is why the number is increasing day in, day out. Our slogan is the future of the students begins here. My future begins here. Service to community, this is where our future begins, that is our motto. And after the training that the students have acquired from this school, they can able to go there to the community and to service. They can provide any computing services that requires technology. I'm Glancy Chepkwech, electrical technician, Aldai Technical Training Institute. I'm glad to be in Aldai. I'm Nila Skipchirchir, a diploma student, year three, pursuing electrical and electronic engineering, power option. Since uh, I joined Aldai, it has been a wonderful for me being there. I, I got to know a lot as I proceed teaching the trainees about electrical department. In electrical department, we have varieties of field. We have the instrumentation, telecommunication, and power options. For my case, I will be taking you through the power option part that we have the installation, industrial installation. And this is one of my projects. So this project entails uh, domestic installation. So it has a lot that I have learned in this institution. It has two-way switching. We have the control panels. It has a bell. It has an alarm system. It has a cooker units. It has hot showers, three-phase installation. We also have learned about a staircase installation whereby someone can switch on the light from the first floor and switch off at the fourth or fifth floor. That is uh, our display here. Uh, in, in industrial installation, we have varieties of things that we are going to teach our trainees to get the knowledge to know about the electrical field. First, we introduce them to three-phase installation. That is where by our supply is. We have three-phase installation that we are displaying here. From this panel, the input of BOL panel, we got to teach our trainees to understand how to connect from the power supply, the installation to the consumer unit. Also, we have the alarm whereby the alarm we, we have maybe, for example, there is an issue of maybe smoke or any detections that happen in the institution. We have the alarm that is being set by our students. We teach them how to set and to operate. This is the panel that we are using. Yeah, Aldai Technical is the best institution. We learn a lot of things. Uh, since I joined this school, I have gotten a lot of experience. I've worked with the, my trainee, trainers. They have showed us a lot of things in Aldai Technical. So welcome to Aldai Technical. Our future begins here. And the third phase, which is automotive engineering workshop, has been advertised. And we hope that in the new financial year, the next financial year, we shall be able to start the construction of the automotive engineering workshop. Together with that, our, the government of Kenya has equipped us with the state-of-the-art equipment. And you'll find that in Aldai TTI, we have the best equipment in the region. In land survey, you find that we have uh, the total station. We have the robotic uh, st station, which is not anywhere else in the region. The only place that it is there in this county is Aldai TTI. I'm Kemboi Kennedy, a registered surveyor and a trainer at Aldai Technical Training Institute. I am Ishmael Francis from Kilif County. I am doing land diploma in land surveying at Aldai Technical Institute. I'm Valentine Chipkoske, coming from Kirijo County. I joined Aldai Technical the year 2021, January. Here I train uh, land survey, the students in the Department of Land Survey section. So in land survey here at Aldai Technical Training Institute, you've got a lot of instruments. So the first, uh, the most, uh, the highest instrument in terms of accurate, accuracy, we have the instrument known as the robotic total station. And then you also have the, the electronic total station. So in land survey here, we normally train the student in order to so they can be at the top notch in the competition industry because 
some of our industry, uh, some of the students who have uh, actually uh, passed through our hands at Aldact Institute, they are in various industries. For example, they are in the county government. Uh, we also have uh, some students uh, in the private companies. For example, uh, we have uh, the private companies uh, in, uh, in uh, uh, Nairobi, the, that is uh, RCMRD, the regional uh, center for, uh, regional, uh, center for uh, natural resources and development. We also have uh, the students in the A3 that is uh, located in Nairobi. So we also have uh, uh, other, other, other private companies, for example, the one that are in uh, Tanzania. I was referred by a former student <coughs> who has his own company at Malindi, which is in Kalifi County. And he is successful in his job. And I'm also preparing, preparing my course so that one day I'll be success more than him. So here in Land Survey, we normally uh, uh, train our students so that they can actually uh, be, be having the, 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 the element of accuracy. Because if you want to be competitive in the industry of uh, land survey and mapping, you are supposed to have two most elements. So we have the accuracy and the precision. And uh, for you to have uh, those two elements, we have the modern instruments. That is, uh, for example, at this level, for example, nowadays we normally uh, have the RTK, the, the robotic total station, that is actually keeping in mind those two things, the precision and accuracy. So we are, we are, we are tying together all this, all this uh, modern uh, surveying, modern surveying uh, uh, the, the, the components so that uh, our students can be competitive in the various industries. Um, in addition to that, our students also uh, get chances to, to have uh, the, uh, the natural development uh, projects. We want to incorporate the modern uh, surveying instrument. For example, we have the robotic uh, scanners that can scan the underground utilities uh, prior to the, 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 the main development. For example, if they want to bring up a, a, a building or maybe they want to bring up maybe a, 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 a highway or maybe something like a, a bypass. So, so that, so that the, the students can be able to, to have a touch, a modern touch with the, the, the modern geospatial uh, technologies. Based on the, 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 the slogan of the school, which is the service to community, that's our, our motto. So the, the students who have come through uh, the Aldai Technical Institute, and especially the survey and acquire the skills. For example, my department in land survey, the teachers are teaching well. And I choose this course because this will help me in my future. And it will help me also to assist my parents uh, in order to, to be stable in their life. They can be able to have uh, the, the self-employment. They just employ themselves. They don't wait to have uh, that uh, the formal employment from uh, an employer. So we normally train these students so that they can have uh, the skill to employ themselves, not to seek jobs. I, I, I therefore advise the other students to join Aldai Technical for their course. Our students or our trainees because of the skills that we impact on them, have gone out there and they are being employed according to our tracer studies, which was done last year. Majority of our students have furthered their education. They are those who started from artisan level and have completed their diploma. The ones who did diploma have been able to go forward and do their further studies as degree programs. We also have trainees who have gone to KTTC and are now lecturing with us. And we are proud to say, because we believe in our quality, we have been able to employ our students. We have two technicians in the Building and Civil Engineering Workshop. Those technicians are our former students. We have uh, trainers who are our first students in Aldai TTI. Meaning that as Aldai TTI, we believe in our own because we believe the quality that we impact is the best quality. So we have been able to employ in various departments our students. We have secretaries, we have technicians, we have trainers, all who started their courses in Aldai TTI. And that is why we say this is where the future begins. Apart from that, we also have a block making uh, center where we are able to produce our blocks as an institution for both practicals and for production. 
the block making uh, venture is what has helped us in, as an institution and it is one of our income generation activities. The blocks that we are able to make at the block making is one way in which we train our students on how to produce blocks and our students have also benefited from the block making because we are able to encourage, because it's an income generation, we are able to encourage the students to work there and also get an earning for their upkeep during their stay in school. Harrison, Keton, Soil Lab Technician at Aldai, TTI. I'm Jonah Kiblangat Koech, uh, a building technician in charge of masonry practicals and also plumbing uh, practicals. Welcome to the production unit where we produce blocks. We call it the aggregates, eh? one to eight. One cement and eight units of the dust. So here we start by mixing for about, uh, all, the, all the process takes uh, about uh, eight minutes average. So we start by mixing, transfer the materials to the, to the molder where we pour the materials to the molder. We pour the material and then vibrate. So vibration balances the material and then we come back using the same vibrator. After that, we, we unmold the, the, the items and take them up for the shed. Shed, it takes three days where there is a shed. After that, we, we remove and pile them outside. It takes another 21 days to cure. The material is ready for use, uh, either in the building or for practical. As a technician, we, we train students, soil, practicals, uh, carpentry, plumbing. Uh, by that slogan that we say that this is the future of our student begins and they can that multiply that skills that they get from here to the field. Um, one of them that I was a student here and I was employed as a building technician, uh, that is that through my skills and my work and my studies, I was able to be uh, appointed here as a building technician. A young men who are there at the market or at the village to come to Aldai, where they will be equipped with a lot of skills and they can use those skills there at the field to build their future. So this is where the future of our students start? So we equip the students with the skills so that they can provide those services at the community. Under the CBET implementation programs, we have been able to, together with the students, build an eight capacity female hostel. That female hostel is able to host our female students and it was done by the building and civil engineering department. That is one way we are able to ensure that practicals are actually actualized within our institution. So uh, my name is Evan Skiptum, uh, head of department uh, building and civil engineering. Our department uh, is a building and civil engineering uh, is the center of excellence, uh, craft programs, and uh, artisan programs, including uh, civil programs. In the school, we have a number of uh, workshops. Uh, we have uh, three workshops. Uh, the one we are, we are here is uh, carpentry and plumbing workshops where we have uh, the state of the equipments that can be able to train uh, in our areas uh, of, uh, of building and, and civil engineering. Uh, we also have uh, equipments uh, where we train uh, land survey, uh, board, uh, diploma and, and, uh, and craft. Uh, in the other labs uh, we have a soil lab whereby uh, we have uh, all the equipments uh, pertaining to soil uh, and concrete uh, technology. So with the programs that we have, uh, that is uh, building technology, uh, civil engineering, uh, road construction, our trainees would benefit so much with the hand on the skills, uh, whereby they get the skills, uh, hand on skills so that they are able to, to perform construction uh, works outside there. We have a number of trainees who are uh, placed uh, in the building construction areas and, uh, and also uh, a number of them are uh, self-employed where they have created jobs uh, for themselves and also the others. 
In the building and civil engineering, which is our center of excellence, we also want to en ensure that we increase the courses and we will be able to even do uh, RPL so that we are able to train the masons out there, the plumbers out there who do not have certificates so that we are able to give them the certificates that they require that will help them even as they carry out their professions. That is part of the, uh, the things that we are planning to do as an institution to also help those who have the skills out there but have no formal training will be able to test them and find out how much they know and in the process we'll be able to now to put them under the prior learning program and they'll be able to get the certificates that they require. We also have a farm. Under the farm, it is an area where we want to also do income generation. We have planted tea, we have planted coffee. We are in the process of uh, doing hash avocados as a grafting pro program. And we want to work closely with the Ministry of Agriculture at the county level so that we will be able to distribute grafted avocados to the community at large. Joshua Yego, a trainer in the Department of Agriculture and Environmental Studies. Kirwa Laban, a student at Aldai Technical Institute, Department of Agriculture and the Environment. In the uh, Agriculture Department, we offer uh, general agriculture as a course. And uh, this is where actually we have our students. Uh, they start their uh, uh, career progression in, in, in general agriculture. I'm a student diploma, module two. Agriculture, I chose it because it has a lot of advantages uh, that can benefit uh, an individual and the rest of the society. Agriculture is a subject whereby you can do a self-employment at an individual level to serve the society in terms of food security and also in terms of serving uh, unemployment issues. Under the agriculture program, we would like to be a centre where farmers can come and train with us. And as they train with us, we'll be able to plough back to the society by giving the knowledge and skills that we have as an institution to the farmers around. And therefore, we offer uh, general agriculture uh, in this perspective. We have animal production. As you can see, we have also uh, crop production in the field where students can get skills and experience. And uh, as students uh, went out to the field, they actually uh, learn to be self-reliant and they also offer a service to the community. We work closely with industry partners. We have done memorandum of understanding with various industry partners, the tea factories, the KCC, um, Baraton University, Bukura Agriculture are part of the partners that we have. With uh, those partnerships, we have been able to be brought on board under the Netherlands program. In the Netherlands program, what we normally do is dairy blended learning. The dairy blended learning is a program that is under the NAFIC and NAFIC is a Netherlands organization. And in that program, we are six institutions in the country. And the six Aldai TTI is the only technical institution in that program. The others are Bukura, Baraton University, Eldoret National Polytechnic, Egerton, um, the Dairy Technology in Naivasha. So Aldai TTI is the only technical institution that is in that program. Under the blended learning, what we are trying to do is ensure that we are able to teach online how dairy technology can be done. And we want to bring on board the farmers and the stakeholders to ensure that that program is able to benefit the community because Aldai TTI is in an agricultural area. My name is Joylin Chepchechir Kemboy, a trainer in hospitality and management department, hairdressing and beauty section. So in our section, hairdressing and beauty, we have hairdressing services, we train on hairdressing services and we train on beauty services. 
on the hairdressing part, we have several skills that we teach our, our trainers. We have uh, braiding, we have uh, thermostyling, like, like for instance here beside me somebody is doing a flat iron services. We have thonging, we have uh, dreadlocks, styling, we have a lot of services in hairdressing and beauty. In the, depart in the section of beauty therapy we train uh, the, our trainees how to do nails, how to do manicure, pedicure, gel, makeup, facial, like beside me you can see a student doing a facial treatment. So those are the kind of services we train here and much more. So we train them because uh, these services, they are needed in the society. They are going to be beneficial in the society, direct beneficial in the society because people out there need to look good, they have functions they need to attend, they need to do makeup and their hair on a daily service, on a daily, day to day routine. So uh, we train them hoping that they are going to be beneficial in the society and it's so helpful to them both all the genders, male, female, we all welcome them to come and train with us in Aldai Technical. My name is Caroline Keme. I am a trainer in food and beverage department whereby uh, we are happy to engage with these uh, young souls, young learners who have come here to acquire skills on uh, food preparation and food service. I'm Godfrey Mbudo, a trainer in uh, Aldai Technical Training Institute. I train food and beverage service. I basically train uh, technical skills in different ways of service of meals. And since uh, the world is a global village, we train our students to reach the standards of the world. So we basically try to align students from different uh, places of the world to reach different destinations of the world so we can train students with technical skills so that they can reach even outside country and we have trained basically in a service of meals because a meal is a core thing in a human life so every person in life interacts with meals so the interaction with meals basically has to be exposed and in the dining uh, activity we deal basically with the themes of how these people are going to interact with meals. Okay my name is Isla Lagat doing diploma in food and beverage. I'm Elia Lama, a student at Aldai Technical. My name is Yvonne Mohonji, a student at Aldai Technical Training Institute. I am pursuing a course in diploma food and beverage management module one. Module two management that is. Passing diploma in food and beverage module one. Uh, in Aldai Technical Training Institute. Since I joined Aldai Technical, I've been able to learn various skills that is in food production and food service. Since I came to this school, I've been able to learn a lot from preparation of different kind of soups. Example is bechamel, have clear soups and other types of dishes we prepared. We have main dishes, we have desserts, so many kind of dishes. I'd love to welcome you to see varieties of food. So I've learned a lot of skills during preparation example. You can see them over here. And uh, Since I joined Alda Technical on, in January 2023, I've been able to pursue that, that is production and service skills and I'm able to give back to the society. Once I move out of this place, I'm really ready to give back to the society. I feel I have the enough skills to offer to the society. I have gained a lot of skills, and I believe this is where my future begins, so that I can be able to serve the community. I want to welcome you all to Aldai Technical Training Institute. With the help of our trainers, I believe this is where my future begins so that I can give back to the community. With the skills they have acquired, they can start their own businesses, they can uh, give uh, quality and good services to the customers that will enhance customer retention, especially uh, in the food industry. When I go back to my county, I'll be able to open my small business because I've gained skills enough in Aldai Technical in the production and the service of food so I can be able to open my small hotel. 
we talked about the industry having grown and it is becoming competitive. So we want our learners to acquire really uh, first-hand information, first-hand knowledge uh, and skills. In hospitality uh, industry, we expect our learners to give back to the community, having acquired uh, different skills uh, in food and beverage. This is where the great journey begins, to expose great people to the world. I'm Enli Aluda, the head of department business. Uh, the department started way back in 2015, when uh, the college opens, opened its doors to new students. Uh, we have been offering a number of courses, both at diploma level and certificate. Uh, some of the courses that are offered in this department, uh, we have diploma in accountancy. We also have diploma in human resource management. We have diploma in secretarial studies. We have diploma in business management. Uh, we have diploma in supply chain management and also Diploma in Cooperative Management. Uh, CPA, which is examined by CASNEP. Apart from offering CPA, we also offer a certificate uh, level courses. Uh, we have a certificate in supply chain, business management, certificate in supply chain, uh, certificate in cooperative management, Mm, and then we have an artisan course in store keeping. Uh, together with that, we have a board that is very supportive. And that board has stirred this institution to where it is today. And in the Tibet fairs, where we compete with other institutions in Kati, we have been able to present innovations by our students and we were able to innovate the pencil, we were able to innovate the organic uh, shoe polish, and we are also in, in the process of presenting cab rows and uh, building materials that have been innovated by our own students. We also participate in the sports activities. We have had athletic competitions which our students happen to go up to the national level in uh, the ath national athletics. We have been able to participate in regional competitions in both the ball games, that is football, volleyball, rugby, um, and uh, the indoor games. And our students have been performing very well in that area. Under performance contracting, we have always been in the very good category from the time we started performance contracting. Uh, in the results that were out in 2021, 2022, we were able to be number 22 out of the 100 and 115 institutions that were on performance contracting. That is the tertiary institutions that were in performance contracting. The previous evaluation, we were number nine out of all the tertiary institutions where we were number one in Rift Valley region. And with performance contracting, what we normally say is what gets measured gets done. So as we, measure, as we set our targets, we are able to achieve them because of a supportive board, a supportive student fraternity, a supportive staff, and a supportive community. As Aldai TTI, we believe in working together and very closely with the community. As an institution, we ensure that community activities we participate. We also ensure that the community is benefiting from the institution, where we also do CSRs to the community, and the community is able to benefit from us by ensuring that their businesses are running because of the number of students that we have enrolled in our institution. The private partnerships that we have had with the community members 
has seen hostel facilities that our students are able to use and that is a benefit to the community. We work closely with even the security team in the sub-county. We work closely with the opinion leaders in the sub-county and the county at large. And we believe that our institution is strategically positioned to offer the right skills that our country needs. Uh, as we go forward, we have future projections. In those future projections, we are in the process of ensuring that we increase our infrastructure. We are in the process of ensuring that we also increase the courses that we offer. And we are working closely with the industry to ensure that whatever courses we bring on board are courses that are market driven, courses that are relevant to the industry, so that whatever courses we are bringing on board are those courses that will meet the needs of the industry. Uh, we as the administration are committed to ensure that the right services are provided, the right quality of education is given to our students, and we are proud that even from what we have done, our students have been able to engage in practicals that have benefited even the institution. We also want to encourage our students as we grow and enrollment grows and the institution grows, we will be able to engage our students in various activities and we have been encouraging our students to even register so that when we have activities within the institution, they are able to come in carry out activities within the institution. The reason why we are doing that is because we believe that the training that we are offering in Aldai TTI is quality training. And if it is quality training, then it means we can use our own in the programs that we have. So in the projects, we, we are encouraging the building department and the trainers, the trainers and trainees of building department to even come up with registered bodies so that we will be able to give them the work that is there when we have projects in the institution. So I would like to tell the community, the nation at large, that bring your youths, bring all the youths to Aldai Technical Training Institute and you will never regret being in Aldai TTI because we mold you to be able to build the nation. And once you're able to build the nation, then the nation will benefit from the skills that you acquired in Aldai TTI. I'm James Karioki from Nyandaro County, undertaking certificate in building technology at Aldai Technical Training Institute. I'm Kenneth Draymond Minor from Kisi County to Aldai Technical Training Institute, taking a course in Diploma in Civil Engineering, Module 2. Uh, I was wel welcome in this school. My name is Laban Jaro Menza. I come from a coast, specifically Cliffy County. Yeah, I'm just grateful to be at Aldai TTI. Uh, this is actually a very good school. Uh, it was once uh, a feeling like I was coming to a place that uh, would not be good for me, but actually after I, was, uh, I came in and I was welcomed well, and I felt like this is the best school. Eh? And for, for all that period, this being my last year here, uh, doing a building and civil engineering, uh, I, I, I can actually testify this is a very good school. Yeah. Gwib Julius is my name, from Naro County, a student of ATTI, pursuing diploma in civil engineering. I feel grateful being in ATTI. ATTI is home. And it is a good school for you. Thank you. Um, my name is Ivan Boke. I'm pursuing diploma in social work and community health. I come from Migori County. I came to Aldai Technical Training Institute because this is where my future begins and the climate is favorable. And so far, I think it's good. So I have no problem with it. And I thank God I'm here. My name is Kipto Vincent, a student in Aldai Technical, pursuing diploma in land survey. I've been here since 2020. Uh, the school is the very best place to be. 
as uh, our motto says, to be the center of excellence. I urge all the people in Kenya, parents, those people who are finishing school, to join Allied Technical. We've been having a rise in performance since 2020. The graph has just been rising vigorously. The last mean score we had 72.5. And uh, our aim this, this July coming exam, will be, we want to have an 8.0 examination. As the student president in Allied Technical, this is the best school we've been having. The school uh, trainees have good discipline. We've been having the, uh, this, the, the mode of dressing as, as one of the best things to be implemented in this country of ours. Uh, as one of the trainees in this institution, I will, uh, I will want to urge all the stakeholders uh, who are supporting this school to give the support as they have been doing. We've been having the best performance because of the parents of these uh, trainees in this institution. And uh, as a student president of Aldai Technical Training Institute, uh, I will urge all the parents outside there to bring their kids to this institution because we are offering very many, very many uh, courses, uh, beginning from the building technologies, we have the agriculture, we have the social work, I mean the business courses, we have the food and catering, uh, accommodation courses, and uh, soon we are going to launch uh, the automotive uh, sector of education. So I will urge all the parents to utilize the institution here in Nandi County, as well as you know that this institution is the, 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 the Nandi itself, where the institution is placed, is the source of champions. In terms of games, uh, athletics, balls, ball games, we've been going into regionals, and uh, I know if one of, your, if one of our friends as is going to hear this, that we have a, a slogan that says, tell a friend to tell a friend, so that they may join this institution. It is the very best institution in terms of performance. We've been having great performance. We've been having alumni outside there performing different uh, jobs, uh, given their skills in this institution. So I'll urge uh, all the parents to join us uh, in bringing their our slogan being a uh, service to the community. Uh, actually, I'm planning uh, that when I go back to Mombasa, just after I, I am done with my course, eh, I shall serve the community uh, in issues pertaining my area of specialization. Welcome to this institution, Great Aldai. Thank you. Our slogan is service to the community. And here is where my future begins. This is where my future begins. I believe that this is where their future begins. Service to the community. This is where our future begins. This is Aldai Technical Training Institute. Our future begins here, and it is the service to the community. So that they will give back service to the community. This is where my future begins, so that I can serve the community. I believe that this is where the future of our students begins, so that they will go and serve the community. Service to the community. Service to community. This is where my future begins. This is where my future begins. This is where your future begins.